Hey guys, and welcome back for another video. I've got a lot of questions recently about the uh, ice cap nano skimmer and kind of how I have that set up. So I'm just gonna show you a couple tips to hopefully make it a little easier for you. Um, one of the first things that you'll notice is that I actually got my skimmer hanging on the back of the magnet. I'm not actually using the magnet to attach it to the, uh, the back of the tank. It's just hanging on there. Um, my skimmer is a little bit out of the water uh, compared to some others that I've seen, but this is what seemed to work best for me. Um, a couple tips for getting this thing set up is that, you know, normally I'll put a plastic bag over the top and then put a nice Coke can here to hold that bag down. That way all the water, uh, when it does overflow, which it's going to when you first set it up, that way it drains into the, you know, the, uh, the, the reservoir in the back uh, without splashing all over the wall, which it did at first. Um, another tip is when you're setting this thing up, make sure you have a good water line mark. Uh, notice down there I have my JBJ Nano auto top off. Uh, I always make sure that the water is level with that before I turn on my skimmer. The only reason I turn off the skimmer is when I'm feeding, which I'm also turning off the return at the same time. And then, you know, cause if I was to leave the uh, return off and keep the skimmer uh, on, obviously the water would come up after turning off the return and it would cause the uh, skimmer to overflow. So I actually have it set on a switch, uh, which I have down here, just a little uh, breaker, just so I can flip that on and then turn it back on so it's easy for feeding. Um, one of the other tips is to just leave it alone when you first set it up. Just let it do its thing, uh, especially if you have a brand new tank. I honestly don't even know if it's worth uh, setting one of these up for, you know, the first, I don't know, a couple weeks maybe, uh, because you need that, that, uh, scum, especially if you have no fish, if you have no fish, don't even bother, uh, in my opinion, but teach their own. Um, but otherwise, you know, it's just le let it be. Uh, it's going to be a little annoying at first. It's not super enjoyable. I, you know, I went through that myself, but eventually You'll see, as of right now, I just emptied this, but uh, it actually does collect some nice scum. I gotta clean out the bottom there, as you can see there. Um, but, you know, this thing fills up in probably about four days. This cup will be full. And uh, it's my primary method of filtration for this tank. And as you can see, tank's looking pretty good. Um, haven't cleaned the sand there in a little while, so I gotta do that probably sometime this weekend. But uh, all in all, you know, everything's looking great. Um, if you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, you guys have a great day.